Hi, my name's Stephen Han. I'm running for Mayor of Ongapringa. I'm at the Hopwood Theatre. Now, you often see local members of Parliament sticking up signs and saying, you know, save the Hopwood. This is the theatre for down south, for Ongapringa. It's, as I know, it's the only theatre we have. Now, the first group of people who contacted me was this group. And they said, well, what would you do for the theatre and what's your views on it? Which is kind of interesting because I don't know much about this. I didn't run on this as a platform, but arts is something that's close to me. So my son, my son dances and his performance was here and I attended his performance. Now, my thing was when I attended and I said to these people, the canteen wasn't open. So for the whole day, this, this um, theatre was open for the school and they had performances for the entire day. It ran almost 12 hours. There was no coffee, there was nothing for sale, there was no drinks. Then I said, well, actually, the performances, this should be the center for down south, for theater, for comedy, for dancing, for uh, theater, if I've already said that, but it should be the center for the arts down south, in my view. So all the dance studios, this is where they be, should be performing. We should be having competitions between the dance studios for the best performers, for ballet, for all the different types of dance. So this is my view. Now, and there should be comedy. There should be like local community doing plays and schools and this should be like, this should be the driving force for it, in my view. Now, when I went and did research on it and I said this to the people, um, for, so it's got a group of people who manage this theatre. Um, I said, look, there's no interaction on your Facebook page. No one's commenting. There's no thing. And I look for current shows that are on here and there's nothing. So... Then I went, had lunch with some people and she ran a dance studio down south um, and she goes, well, we don't perform here because it's too expensive. So we go down to Brighton. So you, you live in Ongapringa, but you don't dance here because it's too expensive. This doesn't make any sense to me at all. I don't know what's going on, but if I'm mayor, I'll work it out. So I'm not making any promises, but I, like, I think there should be regular acts on here on Thursdays and Saturdays. So people from 170,000 people we have come here. And I'm going to walk around and sort of show you the condition of it. But the, the cafe in here needs to be open. There, there needs to be coffees, there needs to be drinks, there needs to be food in here. Because when you go to the theater, you have coffees, you have drinks. It's not open. There needs to be acts on here. I don't know why we don't have stand-up comedy on here. I don't know why there's no community plays. And they said there used to be. And COVID put a stop to it all. Kind of COVID's over now, so let's get stuff going. And what really gets my goat is I see the local members, no disrespect to the local members, but they stick up signs and say, let's, you know, save the whole... Let's... Well, what's your plan of action? What are you doing? Like, what's going on here? Like, I've, I've been here for eight years. And when I say I've been, I've been back in South Australia for eight, eight years. What's happened in eight years? And I'm not having a go at the management. I probably sound like I am. They, they are lovely people. They want to see stuff and they want their council, the community involved in this, in this theatre. So let's get people together and let's talk. Let's get active. Nothing annoys me more of people who just want to have photo opportunities. Like, oh, it's a snapshot. Here's a photo. And then that's it. They don't do anything else because that's what I feel is happening in our community. Down south, everyone seems to be having photos and seem to be doing nothing. I'm 52 years old, this is where I was born, and nothing. So I want to have a look, I want, really wanted to go around inside the theatre and show you inside the theatre, because I think it's pretty amazing. And this is one of two theatres I got told like it in the state, and it's largely unused. Um, I mean, community groups do use it, but this should be where school, school performances happen. This should be the big thing. This, you know, we should have the top dancers in Ongapringa dancing here, getting ready for the big stage. This should be a stepping stage to the state and then to the national theatre. It's like sport in my opinion, because I know a bit about sport, not so much about the arts, but my sisters, my cousins dance, and I said my son dances. Like, and I've got, you know, friends who do comedy. It's like, this should be where it starts. This is, the, this is your local level, and then you jump up to the next level, and you jump, jump up to national. But we need to be bringing acts here. We need to be promoting it. There needs to be, this needs to be a centre. It needs to be a place to go out down south. There's no other place. So that's my view. But I want to just run around this theatre and just sort of show you stuff. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you, this is the board. And you're going to say, well, you were just here. Yeah, right. 
So we've got two two shows on. Two shows. We've got one in July 2023. Can't wait for it. No, and I'm not having a go at the thing. But like, what's on currently? I've got to wait for July 20. I can't remember July 2023, and my girlfriend will tell you that. Like, it's not happening. Uh, we've got ABBA on in February 2023. It's kind of close. But my point is, like, what's happening tonight? What's happening? What happened last night? What's happening next week? What's happening the following week? That's what needs to be up here. What's on? What's coming? What's here Wednesday night? What's here Thursday night? This place needs to be getting used every single day. That's how you make money. It needs to be open. Canteen needs to be making money. It, this is a business and needs to be making money. My view. So let's just have, have a look around. Okay, so these are the windows. Look, I don't know what was stuck on the windows. But it's got... It looks, it looks really poor. And when I say it looks poor, it looks like it's been vandalised or... Looks neglected. Neglected's the word I'm looking for. It looks neglected. And it probably is. The theatre's probably neglected. I don't know. I'm just saying this is the way I feel it looks neglected like I don't know who's responsible is it council responsible who's responsible but the council well is it the council theatre I as I understand it probably is the council's theatre like windows needs to be clean needs to be clean needs to have posters it needs to have events on it needs to have pictures of people you should have the stars of Ongapringa, down south, our dancers, our comedians, our, our theatre people, pictures of them. This is, these are the stars of the south in here. I mean, I, I went to my son's dance studio um, concert and there was about 200, I'm going to say 200 kids, but there was adults and older people there and some very, you know, and I'm just going to go into it lot of people trying really hard and having difficulty getting on stage and trying to break through these barriers of you know because they're scared they're scared to perform on stage and they're there giving it a go and like thumbs up to them for giving it a go some really good dancers in there like kids who clearly dance a lot should be pictures of them in here saying look you're you're the best you are the best and you work hard at being the best um you know, give them, a, give them the accolades they deserve because they work hard for it. If you're a footballer, you have your photo taken with Catherine. No disrespect to Catherine because she has a photo taken with everyone. Dance is no different to football in my opinion. Let's have a look. So this is the back window, I think. I don't know what this is about. Round to your place. This must be, this might be the thing, but it's, it's got nothing to do with the theatre, with the theatre. It's got graffiti scribbled into the glass. Like, we've got a council. We've got a community, 170,000 people. This is not good enough. Okay, I'm going to express my complete ignorance. I don't know what this is. Your voice. Like, it's good, but what's it got to do with the theatre? Put pictures of people doing comedy. Put pictures of kids doing dance. Put pictures of... Put pictures up of people doing plays, of theatre, of local, local performances. Take group shots of kids, put them on here. This stuff does not cost a lot. This has got nothing to do with the, with the theatre as far as I'm concerned. And it's on the main window of the theatre. Okay, so this window here has got stuff all over it. It looks... Maybe there was stuff stuck to it and they didn't get it off properly. just looks and maybe these I don't know what do you think now this is my view right and in this process they've got a group so the Hopwood Hopwood group has got a group of people who are experienced with the arts and then you need other people to come in there should be people on the council on this who are interested in this like I'm interested in this um, like I'm gonna say my my sister's husband does and is into community plays like he would be interested in this he has a business and I'm sure he'd sponsor stuff but I don't know what do you think I just and this is the thing you need people to get together and go hmm what do you think 
And I go, I don't like it. Like, it's, let's, maybe we could have kids do stuff. Graffiti artists do stuff on it. Come up with plans and say, look, we want stuff here, which looks cool and looks vibrant. I don't, this to me looks old and looks like it's done 20, 30 years ago. It's just, okay, next window, same thing. It's all got scratches through it. It looks like it's been graffitied a bit with people vandalizing the area. Now, the other thing with this area down here, the where the Hopwood Theater is, it seemed to be, what's the word? Um, people say it's dangerous. Is that the right word? Um, and they're worried about nighttime. Maybe we need better lighting down here and maybe we need some sort of cameras up in the area to so people feel safer at nighttime if this is a concern because people need to feel safe here if they come to the theatre. Okay, next window, more graffiti on it. Like, I do not get graffiti as far as people vandalising stuff. Never got it because it comes out of your rates and the people who do it need to be kicked because it's coming out of your pocket. They're clearly people with problems and they need help. And that's not me having a go at them and I kind of sound it, but people need to feel that part of the community. They need to feel like they have a place and like they're making a contribution. Whoever did this doesn't feel that. They don't feel that. They feel, they feel anger, they feel, they feel they're not, they're not in a good place. There's too many people not in a good place. Okay, next window. Same stuff. There's more scratches and graffiti on the window. Now, I've got a business. I know the cost to replace this glass. It costs a fortune, right? It costs a fortune. So some more solutions, because I like to come up with some awesome solutions for people to think about. I'm a solutions person, ideas person. We could stick big stick-on colour things on the windows to keep the thing. They cost not much. In my old archery shop, I had big colour pictures of top Olympic arches and top arches all over the windows. Um, they don't cost much to print. The colour printers just print them off. They might be, oh God, I think they were $200 a picture. They weren't expensive. Um, and get rid of the graffiti off here and stop people graffitiing. Um, maybe have local artists come up with designs and then print them on the windows and then we can stick them off, stick them on. Maybe we have things with sticks for the latest events coming on here. Maybe we have stickers on the windows showing all the community, um, community, I'm going to say organisations, like all the dance studios or the um, local um, groups, I'm thinking theatre, theatre groups, who do stuff. Some people know, oh, if I want to join theatre, this is where I go, and this is this is the stepping stone, this is how I get into it. We need information. If, you want, if you're interested in getting into theatre, how you do it. Next window, more all over it, like all over it. Like, thank you very much for making the place look crappy. That's my view, we're almost finished, so let's go to the next window. Okay, so this is like a back door to the place and there's more graffiti on the door. Um, it's still bars look pretty average. And again, there's all, like it looks pretty crappy up here. Lots of spider webs and it just looks... Which, if you're running a business and it's successful, then that's fine. My business has no signs on it and you're gonna say, why don't you have signs and all that sort of stuff? Because I'm flat out, I can't keep up. I cannot keep up with the amount of work I've got. That's why. And spending $10,000 on signs, to me, which wouldn't generate any income, it's like, but this, we need to beautify the place. Having graffiti and vandalism in a public place where you've got a playground this is a playground just here. Where well, you got a playground. It's, it's like the council chambers is just there. Just there. It's just that, like it's, and, and the 700 staff who work there are okay. 
with people throwing drinks against the glass. Like, how is this not being raised? Okay, this is... Okay, this wall is probably not part of the theatre, it may be part of the theatre. Now, someone had an idea. Someone had an idea of some local artist putting up stuff. Now, obviously, you know, doing some graffiti, graffiti art to do with theatre, and I'm okay with that. I think that looks cool. The problem is, it's all been graffiti by those people who just do junk. Maybe this needs to be revisited. But no, this does need to be revisited. There's no question. It either comes down or it gets fixed. Anyway, I'm Stephen Hand. <laughs> I'm running for mayor of Ongaparinga. There's seven other, uh, seven other candidates running for mayor of Ongaparinga. It's your choice who you vote for. Like, we need to do work. 52 years, not good enough. I'm 52 years old, down south. It hasn't been good enough for 52 years, and that's why I'm running. Okay, just when I thought I was finished, I'm like looking up these stairs, you can see all the paint which is all worn off. And there's leaves and cigarette butts and just through here, all the junk. All the junk. This is colonnades, and people might say, well that's the way colonnades is. Like it's a blower vac. Where's the maintenance? This This is not from today. This is from months ago. Where's the maintenance? Where's the maintenance? Where's, where's, I don't know who owns this. Is this council land? Is it colonnades land? This needs to be fixed. Not good enough. Anyway, I appreciate you, mate. Thanks for watching. Bye.